y'all see that, right? Texas about to do it. Sarkeesy in the fucking drunk. Nick Saban pissed off. Look, Saban just... Bro, when Nick is like this, he is pissed. He is pissed. The motherfucker's so mad, he's like, Ugh! Ugh! He's like, motherfuckers! Ugh! Hey, you know what pisses Saban off more than anything? He was 34-2 and two before this against coaches that has coached under him. Kirby Smart's the only coach to beat him. Now the drunk Sarkeesian from Washington, who Nick saved this man's career, brought him to Alabama, made him offensive coordinator, and then he got him this job at Texas, and now he's come back to bite us in the ass. He has bit the Crimson Tide in the ass. Roll Tide has gone down at home to Texas. To fucking Texas. And Oregon... Oh man, I gotta go. We gotta change. We gotta change channels real quick. There's some shit going down. There's some shit going down, y'all. Welcome to the end, y'all. Please don't forget to like, subscribe, share, comment again. Like, subscribe, share, comment. Michael Bryan here. What a day in college football. It's been a crazy day. Colorado got that dub again, two and zero, beat Nebraska. It was a little struggle there for a little bit. They struggled in the first half. Nebraska was bringing the heat on defense, but offense was horrible. Shadur Sanders did his thing. We got to get to uh, Fox. Damn, I'm out of breath. All right, get to Fox. Some shit going down behind me. He made it. Some shit going down right now. Let's see what's going to happen. He made it. All right, there you go. I got I got minus six. My my ticket's about to explode because I need an organ to win by six, and they're obviously just gonna pull this off. Maybe we'll find out though. This is a big game. You got number thirteen. Texas Tech lost last week when they weren't supposed to lose. They got embarrassed. Lost to Texas State. How the fuck do you lose to a team named Texas State? In the state of Texas, Texas State beat Texas Tech, and now Texas Tech is competing with the number thirteen team in the country, Oregon, who has one of the top quarterbacks in Bo Nix. But let's talk about today, y'all. Notre Dame, number 10 team in the country, got the big dub over NC State on the road. This is a game that Notre Dame would normally cough up, choke, eat, and lose. Rob, they did this one for you today, buddy, because they got the dub. Notre Dame got the dub 45-24. Hartman, again, 286, four tutties. This dude is going to be in the Heisman. I'm telling y'all, Notre Dame is actually for real this year, man. I like, I'm so mad Rob is not here right now. Like, I'm so fucking mad sometimes at the universe because if Rob was here, he'd be so proud. Like, like this is a good Notre Dame team. Like, they can literally run the table. I am excited for Notre Dame for Rob. Like, I am on your side right now, Notre Dame fans, for this season anyway. And then you had Georgia, Penn State, Ohio State, and Michigan. They all took care of business. Per usual, they all four played bums. I mean, complete bums. Georgia played Ball State, y'all. They, well, like, Ball State went to Georgia, got the check, got the asses whooped, went home. Like, I ain't mad at y'all. But imagine this, though. Just imagine this. If Georgia would have came to Muncie for that game. Like, it don't matter the ass whooping that football team Ball State would have gotten. The amount of parties that would take place, like Muncie would fucking explode if a game like that ever took place on its campus. It's never had something like that take place, I don't think. Other than when, what was that, 2004, 2005, when Wee Man and Trish Stratus and all them were... Was it Trish Stratus? Oh, no, it was some chick that were uh, going through Muncie and they were cops and shit. You all remember that? <laughs> Google it. I forget what the fuck that shit was called. I'll never forget that shit. See a wee man run through the fucking field. Like, motherfucker, what are you doing? Was it wee man? It was, it was a little person. I'm pretty sure it was wee man. Texas Tech driving. And then uh, the only ranked game we had today, y'all, was Tulane and Ole Miss. Ole Miss got the dub 37-20. However, Tulane was without their starting quarterback, Pratt. I mean, he was the best quarterback in the nation last year there, man percentage-wise and yard-wise. But without him today, they, they led. They, I mean, Ole Miss did not play good in that first half. They didn't, Ole Miss didn't actually pull away until the second half, mainly the fourth quarter. And then Miami, 
Miami, the U, destroyed Texas A&M, number 23 in the country. Destroyed them. Beat the shit out of them, massacred them. Jimbo Fisher, like they paid you all that money. Jimbo, Jimbo Fisher paid you all that money to lose. <laughs> I mean, they got beat 48-33. I mean, granted, it was on the road, but Miami is not Miami, man. I mean, Van Dyke, he, he had a good game. I'll give you that, Van Dyke, but... Like, bro, you ain't no Heisman guy. Like, there's no reason that a number 23 team in the country can't go into Miami and, and at least compete. Like, it was a smoke job. And then uh, Washington, Tennessee, they take care of business against some bum. Tennessee beat Austin P. Washington drum a nobody. What happened? Is that a fumble? <gasps> oh, I think I just covered my spread. Are you fucking kidding me? Ah! Ah! Yes, yes, yes. I just said I wasn't going to cover it. That's eight points. I just needed six points. Yes, 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 yes. Sorry, y'all. I am super excited because because I, I really thought it was over for me on my bet. Whew. As long as Washington State's holding it down against Wisconsin right now. I need Washington State to beat Wisconsin. Shit. Yes, yes. Yeah, I, I need Washington State and, and Mississippi State to pull it out now. Oregon just saved my ticket. I thought it was over. I thought it was over. That's how this shit is, man. I got a $2 bet for a $110 win right now. I am four for six. I had the spread on this. I got lucky. Thank you, Texas Tech. I done lost my sheets. I done lost everything. Fuck. I love betting sometimes, man. It's exhilarating. It's exhilarating. Have not started 0-2 since 1990. That's what y'all get. Y'all ain't shit. Y'all ain't shit. Also, uh, number 17, North Carolina. They're suspect as fuck, man. Don't, back, don't, don't count on this squad, bro. They almost lost to Appalachian State. It took them two overtimes to beat Appalachian State at home. Yeah, I get it. Appalachian State has had upsets over the course of history. But come on, man. Come on, man. You, you don't struggle against Appalachian State. It's just not something that you do. You, you don't want to do that. But, yeah, this game's glosses. What we got next? I'm about to be out of here. I'm going to post the top 25 on Monday. That's what I'm going to do for now on with the top 25s. Let's see. Yeah, this is, this is my other game. I need Washington State to get the dub on Wisconsin. Uh, Washington State was beating them earlier. I, I don't know what's going to happen. Shit. Exhilarating stuff. Hey, how about Coach Prime in Colorado, though? Coach Prime has resurrected that university. They stormed the field beating Nebraska today. Nebraska was horrible last year, and they were horrible the year before. That. <laughs> like, they had to fire their coach. That's why they brought in Matt Rule. But Colorado was so bad last year that, I mean, it warranted storming the field because, fuck, when you win one game for a whole season, I mean, granted, IU wins two, th two or three or four games a year sometimes, and, I mean, we just got to live with it. Some bullshit, man. <laughs> it's some bullshit. <laughs> I, I really can't believe. I, I don't know what I do with my, 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 my thing. I don't know. I don't know, man. I don't know. But thank y'all for watching. Please don't forget to like, subscribe, share, comment. Again, like, subscribe, share, comment. There's some really late games on here. I got to work in the morning. I got an NFL safe zone to do tomorrow. So be on the lookout for this episode. And like I said, I'll drop my top 25 on Monday. Peace, y'all. Please don't forget to like, subscribe, share, comment. Well, I'm out.